Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We have some great singers uh, here to sing for us and we've been praying for the service and we trust you have and so we are going to not spend a lot of time but first of all I know you see the pretty uh, Christmas decoration and if the, we'll take the other camera and pan the others uh, show the other pictures of the other uh, scenes uh we want to give a special thanks tonight to uh edith and lonnie king for coming today and working all day hard hard day's work uh, putting all of this together and so uh, we really appreciate them coming and mm -hmm. and helping and uh, so anyway when you see them talk to them tell them you think they did a good job, which they really did. I really appreciate it. They they had to work hard at it. And so uh, Christmas decorations are really nice, but when it takes time to put them up, then sometimes it's a little much. Well, I have a, just a scripture or two here to share with you because uh, this is about the Lord being our protector. So Psalms 121, it says, it's a choice that we make. It's a choice. It says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Psalms 121, assuring us that the Lord is our shepherd. But see, we have to choose to allow him to be our shepherd. We have to make the choice to let him come into our heart and to be, to be our sh uh, shepherd and our protector. So let's, let's pray for the service. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for the scripture. Thank you that you are our protector. We're never alone. As I prayed with the lady that was in the hospital today in the ER with her, her husband, so very bad, uh, sick. Uh, I've just thanked you because I know that you're there with them and they needed to feel your presence and so we know that you're every place and so tonight Lord we do ask for those that are so suffering so much and in such intense pain tonight relieve them Lord help them answer their prayers and bless our singers and our phone operators and Lord let this be a night that you have been lifted up successfully in Jesus name Amen. All right, we're so happy tonight to have uh, uh, back with us the Brooks family from Ezel, Kentucky, uh, Aaron and Christy Brooks, and they're from the Pine Grove Community Church. They have a nice CD here that uh, that you would like to get a hold of. They're 606-725-4576 if you'd like to call them. So right now, let's welcome the Brooks family from Ezel, Kentucky. This morning at daybreak, I opened my eyes. I looked down my window, saw your beautiful sky. down to pray 
just want to thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. The children are healthy. We have plenty to been a beautiful day today and if you've been out and enjoyed the, the sunshine we needed a little sunshine today for the brisk air but what a blessing it is just to be able to get up and to go out and to enjoy God's uh, outdoors uh, he get, he pours out uh, his rain his sunshine on the just and the unjust he's so good to us and I thank him tonight for first and foremost for saving my soul and for saving uh, my my wife and for my children and for these here tonight and for you out there if you've come to know Jesus Christ as your Savior uh, most importantly for salvation there's no greater gift that anybody could be given and this time of year reminds us of uh, what took place some 2,000 years ago Jesus coming to redeem fallen man and that next song we're going to sing it's uh, entitled Redeemed.
take off these heavy chains wipe away every stain i'm not who i used to be because i don't have to be the old man inside of me because his day is long dead and gone because i've got a new name a new life i'm not the same and i hope To, to be redeemed, the price that was paid for us is, is so amazing. Uh, we, we try to sing about it in words, and we fail to have the words to talk about what God has done for mankind. And I hope that you know that tonight, and if not, you can. Just simply trust Jesus, that He is who He says He is, the Son of God, the Savior of the world, and you call upon Him. Call upon Him and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me and save me. I want to be redeemed. I want to be restored back to God. And uh, the Bible tells me that when we do that by faith, we call upon Him that we shall be saved. And I trusted Him for that, and He saved my soul, and I'm thankful for that tonight. This next song is entitled, In the Presence of Jehovah. And there's only one way that we're going to be able to come into His presence, and that is through Jesus Christ, through the blood of that was shed for you and I through Jesus Christ or by Jesus Christ. That's the only way that we're ever going to come into the presence of God. But we get to experience His presence even here and now. And I want you to listen to the words of this song.
place for me to rest place to find the answers in the hours of uncertain times and you know there's a lot of opportunity for fear out there um, the scripture tells us that perfect love casts out fear and when we come into the presence of almighty God fear has no place there because we're in a place of safety we're in that ark of safety uh, I pray that you know him tonight if you don't you need to call upon him while you have an opportunity we don't know when our last time is going to be this next song is entitled, I Need Thee Every Hour, and we all do. Whether we want to admit it or not, we need God in our life every moment of every day.
in Matthew's gospel, we read about a name that was given to Christ, and it comes out of Isaiah's uh, prophecy about the one who was going to come, um, the one who was told to King Ahaz that would come, and his name would be called Emmanuel. And in Matthew's gospel, we're told that Emmanuel means God with us. I'm thankful tonight that God came to this earth in the form of flesh in baby Jesus. And he didn't stay a baby. He grew up and he lived the life that we couldn't live. He lived a spotless, sinless life so that he could become the, the one who would pay the debt for our sins and pay the penalty for the sins that we had committed. Listen to the words, Emmanuel.
meets us where we are. You know, that's one thing that I tried to do before I humbled myself before the Lord was to try to make myself presentable before him. I knew I was lost. I knew I was a sinner. And I wanted to be saved. And I felt like that I needed to make myself better. And I tried. I really did. I tried with all the strength that I had. And I just couldn't do it. I kept failing. And it never happened until I surrendered myself. Until I humbled myself before him and called upon him to save me, a sinner. That couldn't help himself. And Jesus came. Emmanuel, the Savior. He came and saved my soul. And he's been changing me ever since. He changed me that day. He uh, caused me to be born again. But he's been working in me every single day since. And I'm thankful for that. a lot of things that we can enjoy a lot of people's company that we enjoy i enjoy uh, my spouse's company over here farthest to my right i'll go ahead and introduce us up here it doesn't matter if you know who we are what matters is if you know who jesus is that's really what matters but i'll go ahead and introduce us uh, to my far right over there is my beautiful bride christy of many years now god blessed us put us together no doubt in my mind, I know it was his hand in that. I'm thankful for her and all that she does for me and all that she brings to me and for me. And uh, this is uh, the one next to her is Caitlin. This is my oldest daughter. Uh, she has uh, been such a blessing to us and our family. And she's a, a songwriter. God's given her a talent to write songs, uh, to sing, and just uh, overwhelmingly blessed uh, with many gifts and talents. And we're thankful for her. And then next to me here on the piano, this is my youngest baby girl, uh, Carly. And as you can see, she plays the piano and does a great job of that. And 
she writes some songs occasionally too and sings and uh, they've just uh, been such a blessing to us and uh, what a privilege it is to be able to get to sing with our family and for any of you that have ever done that you know what it is what a blessing that it is and it truly is and this young man back here behind us a good friend of ours he goes to church with us over there and uh, Mr. Caleb Cottle we're so thankful for him as well uh, what a godly man and we're very very blessed to have him as a part of our little group and uh, my name's Aaron and we make up the Brooks family from the storm found no place at the keeper's door it was for this the child was born to save the world so hollow the sleeping town he did not know lying in a manger low Savior came Has come to heal our sorrows. Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart for God to write his story? Shepherds counting sheep at night Do not fear the glory light You are precious in His sight God has come to raise the lowly Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart for God to write His story? You can come as you are, it may set you apart. You make room in your heart and trade your dreams for His glory. Make room in your heart. Make room in your heart. Mother holds the promise tight. Every wrong will be made right. The road is straight and the burdens light. For in his hands he holds tomorrow. Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart, O oh God, to write his story? You can come as you are. It may set you apart When you make room in your heart And trade your dreams for His glory Make room in your heart Make room in your Jesus came to this earth in the womb of the Virgin Mary and they went down to Bethlehem and were looking they couldn't find a room there was no room for him. I pray that uh, 
if you haven't, that you'd make room for him in your heart tonight. songs entitled if i gave my all if we ask that question to ourselves if we gave our all to the lord what would be different hopefully we are we're giving our all but that's a challenge to each one of us isn't it if we gave her all listen Could it be I've lived a life for me, left no time for him, living far beneath my privilege as a child of a king? Could it be that I had cheated him and therefore cheated me? Lord, open up my eyes that I may see. What
sacrificial lamb Could I sing your praise or preach your word like Paul? If I gave my all How many souls could one life touch? So small and insignificant, a moment in time. Lord, teach me how to give my best, save no part for me, to give my all. go ahead and uh, end with this song and it's been a privilege to be with you tonight and appreciate sister margaret and the ministry here and uh, how that they continue to praise the lord and lift up the name of jesus that's what it's all about and so uh, listen to the words of this song prophecies foretold in a manger he lay sleeping with the cattle and when he was born peace was brought to earth he was a just an ordinary king Whoa. he was sent in a 
Thank you so much. The Brooks family from Ezell, Kentucky. <clears throat> now we w we'd like to ask the pastor and his wife to come up and, and help pray over all the prayer requests. But if you'd like to order uh, the CD that they have, they might have more than one. But uh, anyway, this is the one I have. And it's 606-725-4576. Uh, and their pastor of the Pine Grove Community Church. And uh, uh, so they uh, would be glad to hear from you. All right, they'll come on up and, and join me. And there's a lady calling. She, she really wanted a song dedicated to her, so I guess she could just claim any of them that she sang tonight. And that's Ruby Trussell from uh, Bourbon County. You know her? I don't believe I do. No. Well, anyway, she's... Uh, She's good about uh, 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 viewing and coming or uh, calling and so forth. Um, well, let's let's talk a minute about about your church before we get into this because we're not going to have time to read near all these anyway. But I've been reading them. All right, uh, for the ones see, we have new people uh, tune in all the time, and so let's let them get acquainted with you and. Uh, find out where you are. Now, we have a pine grove here in Lee County, so. Yeah, I'm familiar with that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're from another county. Right, yeah, we're from over in Morgan County, over at Ezell area over there. If you go down 460 uh, west, you'll go, uh, yeah, it's sort of in between West Liberty and Frenchburg in that area, so if, you, uh, if you're out that way, we'd love to have you come and visit with us sometime. So we have Sunday morning service starting at 10 at Sunday school, and then uh, worship service at 11, Sunday evening at 6, worship, and then Bible study on Wednesday night at 7. So uh, we encourage you to come out. If you don't go anywhere, go somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, yes. uh, you know, that's a, that's a vital part of uh, uh, living for the Lord, uh, being a Christian, uh, watching ourselves and helping ourselves to grow yeah. is to yeah. fellowship with one another, and we need to do that if we can. Yes, that's what Christy and I were talking about before service, how so many times people will, if they're going to cut something in their schedule, it's church. Yeah. And uh, they never fail to show up at Walmart, though. That's right. Do that's they? right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but anyway. Um, You're going to preach now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make some people mad and then turn me off. But anyway, yeah. uh, I like to go to Walmart, too, but... Uh, <laughs> I haven't. Uh, we haven't been going much lately with all the, with all the COVID and with my surgery and so forth. Uh, and somebody called uh, called Edith and wanted to know what happened to my nose. Well, if they haven't been watching much, or they would know. I hate to just every night get on here and tell, hey, I had cancer on my nose, and that's what happened. But anyway. They did get it all, and Praise I'm healing up. It's a, uh, it's a going to, it's going to do good, and I'm real happy about that. Amen. But uh, so anyway, uh, there's a lot of things we we choose to do, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Christy, what would you like to share with us? 
I'm just happy to be here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you and your mm -hmm. your daughters are make uh, make mm -hmm. up a really fine uh, fine singing group mm -hmm. here. It's from Floyd County. It said uh, uh, a mother's called for her family and said the singing is great. And uh, uh, Kenneth from Pound, Virginia, congestion and is. Uh, Ruby has called for Kenneth uh, from Pound, Virginia, con congestion on the left side. Uh, and there's another one from Pound, Virginia, and one from Montgomery County. Uh, from uh, Keith is in UK Hospital. Ava from Morgan County for her family. Irene from Floyd, very sick. Prayers uh, are needed. Eli, uh, this is from Teresa from Boyd County, has COVID and double pneumonia. Uh, Tom and Gail, uh, grandbabies, uh, set of twins, born 20 at 21 weeks, and they really need a touch from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, mm -hmm. there's uh, there's a lot more here. Here's another. April has COVID, and uh, Shirley from Laurel County, Stephen from Madison County for his family. Most of these are all family uh, for family members. Betty at once. This one is really good. Betty wants peace and healing. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think that is, uh, there's someone having trouble breathing and about about anything you can imagine, they we have, have it called in here. So uh, we're going to, uh, uh, you know, we, the Lord knows every, every pain we have, so He yeah, right. He yes, already he knows about these, doesn't yeah, He? Does. So yeah, we'll yeah, just let, ask you all if you'll, uh, anoint these and uh, and uh, go ahead and pray before we run out of time. We will do that. Let's be agreed in prayer yes. as we anoint these requests. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that uh, you're not bound by the limitations that we are. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you already know, as Sister Margaret already said, you already know all these situations that I'm holding in my hand and the ones that didn't call for whatever reason. Father, you know those as well. We want to present them before you tonight, Lord. We just want to ask, Lord, that you would touch those hurting hearts. Lord, that one that called for peace, Father. We just pray that you would introduce her to the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. Lord, that she may find that peace in her heart. Lord, and any out there who are unsaved, Lord, we just ask that you would just minister to them especially, Father. And for those that are dealing with health issues, Lord, of various kinds, all different kinds, we just present them before you, Lord. You know these bodies in and out. You made them. Father, and we know that you have the power and uh, the ability to touch them, Lord. We just present them before you tonight, praying that you will, Lord. We just thank you for that. We thank you for the faith of those who called in tonight, Lord. And we just pray a special blessing upon each one, Lord. We thank you, Father, for this ministry that uh, is here by the side of the road, Lord. It's been such a help for so many years to these people. Lord, may you just bless them and continue to keep them. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, let's talk about your uh, family singing group. How long have, have you been singing? Well, I know it might seem like I've only been singing for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I grew up uh, singing. My, my parents, and uh, there was uh, uh, several of us kids. There were five of us siblings, and, and we all sort of sang together. And, and uh, when Christy and I got married, she, uh, she had been singing for... Uh, for quite a while too, and so we just, uh, just sort of the way it worked mm -hmm. out. She had, uh, she had prayed. That was her prayer. Was that uh, the, you know, the Lord would mm -hmm. send someone uh, her way that uh, that they would, she would be able to have children to be able to sing mm -hmm. together and so mm -hmm. forth. And so, uh, God is answer. God is faithful. <laughs> yes, Amen. He it. certainly is. Yes. Yes. And we're thankful for that. Yeah, we're very blessed. Uh, what ages are the girls, or do they allow you to tell it? Sure. We're going to tell it whether they school? allow it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Caitlin, she is 18, and she is actually in her first year of college. Uh -huh. She's uh, she's figured. working up there, or going to school up there where I work, at, uh, up in Paintsville. So, uh, very proud of her. And then Carly's, she's in high school. She's mm -hmm. 13. She'll be 14 in what three or four days or something like that. <laughs> a few days. Yeah. She'll be she'll be 14. So, uh, 
Thank well, I had you. a granddaughter. She's wanting so much to grow up. She'd say she, she was actually 12, but she would t say that she was almost 14. I said, yeah, in a couple of years, honey, you'll be, <laughs> you'll get there. But anyway, uh, but there comes a time you don't wish the, any more birthdays yeah, to right. hurry, yeah. hurry yeah. up. But yeah. anyway, well, we appreciate uh, your family group, and uh, you've got such good harmony. It, it's so good to have a good I family you. group we like this. That. And uh, do you get uh, to sing out much, or do you your work schedule? Uh, we usually are pretty. Uh, we're pretty Tied well uh, set there at church most mm -hmm. of the time. We we get to go a little bit, but mostly it's mm -hmm. there at church. So. Well, now see tonight you got to sing to a lot of people. Yeah, so, amen. So amen. we're ha so happy tonight to have the Brooks family from Ezell, Kentucky, and remember they do have a a nice CD. Call them at 606-725-4576, and they'll be glad to hear from you, and then visit their church if you, if, when you can do that. We are out of time, so we, from all of us, we want to say good night, and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.